The Moscow Kremlin is a multi-dwelling compound situated in the center of the Russian capital, currently the residence of the country's president. The word Kremlin means fortress within a city, or simply fortress. There are nearly 20 Kremlins scattered across the vast Russian territory, but the Moscow complex is the most well known. With its varied colors on the facade, circular forms, arches, magnificence, exotic architectural design, and historical role, this Kremlin has over time become a world-renowned site. In 1990, it was declared a World Heritage Site, and now it is a true tourist hub that lures visitors from all over the world. Moscow Kremlin's history got its start in the year 1156, when Prince Yuri Dolgoruki demanded the construction of the complex, seeking to protect the city from possible attacks. Subsequently, Moscow was overrun by the Mongols, who brought destruction to the fortress. But in 1336, the Kremlin was rebuilt by the order of Prince Ivan Kalita. Oak wood was used for the structure's walls during the process. Later, in 1365, these were burned to the ground during a fire. From the following year until 1368, these walls were rebuilt with limestone, commissioned by the Grand Prince of Moscow, Dmitrius Donsky. During the reign of Ivan III, this structure was further enhanced, and the ruler hired Italian architects to build new premises. Three churches, among other buildings, were built during his reign. During this time, a celebrated building called Ivan III's Bell Tower was also built designed by Marco Bono, with the tallest tower in the Kremlin, which is 81 meters high, and one of the most striking features of the fortification to this day. The Kremlin was used as a residence by the Tsars until the country's capital was moved to St. Petersburg. Subsequently, however, when the October Revolution took place, Moscow became Russia's capital again, and the Kremlin was once again the seat of the government. Throughout this period, Further changes were made in the complex's structure. Throughout its history, the Kremlin underwent several attacks. For instance, the Kremlin was a target of a Polish invasion in 1612. It was also the target of French Napoleon Bonaparte's troops when they invaded the city of Moscow in 1812. The Napoleonic military raised six towers, which were later rebuilt. And then, in 1917, Russian soldiers and workers also stormed the Kremlin. The Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, and since then, the Moscow Kremlin has become the residence of Russian presidents. Museums were established in the complex in 1961. These have become important tourist attractions, and house historically significant relics such as the Monomach Crown, a scepter of Alexandra Fyodorovna, the wife of Tsar Nicholas II, and the dress she wore at her coronation. Fascinating historical pieces can be found in the Arsenal Palace, such as a throne made of diamonds that was received by Tsar Alexius, the wedding dress worn by Catherine the Great, among other relics. The site is also home to historic buildings and churches. The Kremlin's numbers are quite impressive. Its wall is 2,500 meters long, and its height ranges from 5 to 19 meters. However, the total area of the Kremlin is 27.7 hectares. Furthermore, there are now 20 towers arranged in the complex, the highest of which is Troitskaya, with 80 meters, featuring the star at its end. Its construction took place in the mid-1490s, and the one responsible for it was a talented Italian architect. A prominent feature of the complex is the famous Tsar's Bell, located in Ivan's Bell Tower. The bell weighs 202 tons and is over 6 meters high, Due to these measurements, it is said to be the largest bell in the world. The 400-year-old Tsar Cannon is the world's largest cannon. It weighs 40 tons, and each cannonball it fires weighs 800 kilograms. The other very impressive site to the complex is the Church of St. Michael the Archangel, built between the years 1505 and 1508 on the same site as an old cathedral. The influence of the Renaissance architecture can be seen in this church, which boasts beautiful frescoes. Inside, there are 54 tombs and 46 tombstones, containing some of the most important figures in Russian history. The Church of St. Michael the Archangel is in the Cathedral Square, the site where coronations and funerals of Tsars and other important personalities took place. 
It was also where other religious institutions and the most important churches of the entire city of Moscow are located, such as the Cathedral of Dormition and the Cathedral of Annunciation, the two largest in the entire fortress. Some of the most important figures in all of Russian history are also buried in the Kremlin, such as the communist politician Vladimir Lenin, the ruler Joseph Stalin, the well-known astronaut Yuri Gagarin, who was the first man to travel into space, and many others. Other than the points mentioned, the fortification is also home to many palaces, such as the Terem Palace, which used to be the residence of Russian Tsars, the Palace of Facets, the Amusement Palace, and others. One highlight is the Great Kremlin Palace, nestled in the southwestern part of the fortification, the official residence of the President of Russia. Formerly, before it served this purpose, this very site had chambers and residences that were occupied by Tsars and Grand Dukes. Unlike what many tend to believe, the famous St. Basil's Cathedral, with its colorful and striking architecture, is not part of the Kremlin complex. The cathedral is found next to the Kremlin on Red Square. Built in 1561, the cathedral marks the geographic center of the city of Moscow. The center of power and strength Characterized by an exotic, majestic, stately, and impressive architectural style, the Kremlin is Russia's main postcard and holds huge importance in the country's history. As well as sheltering past relics, the Kremlin has been the stage for many important events, and many noteworthy personalities who have marched the history of Russia have also spent time there.